Hey YouTube, Aaron here again showing you how to jailbreak the uh, Apple A5 chip devices. That includes the iPhone 4S and the iPad 2. Uh, we're going to start with the VM workstation and opening up Mac OS X so we can go ahead and run the jailbreak software. I'll link to a video that shows you how to set this up correctly. It's very easy and you sh it should work just the first time. Uh, you can find all the files online and the tutorial will show you exactly how to get that set up and working. So just get my virtual machine started up here and it's going to show us that the removable devices can be added to the virtual machine. And that's really the, where the magic happens on this. Go ahead and get it started up here. Log in. All right. As soon as it finishes loading up here. Now we're going to just downsize this real quick and what I'm going to do just to make this easier is copy the jailbreak software onto a flash drive and then just mount that flash drive to the virtual machine that way I don't have to worry about trying to network the two computers together it's just faster and works just fine for me I'll also have a uh, link to where I got the jailbreak software from. It's obviously from greenpoison.com, but right now they are down due to the uh, amount of people trying to do this at, all at once. We're gonna, whenever iTunes pops up, we're going to decline it because we're not really using it. Uh, also, whenever it pops up the flash drive, don't need to use it for backup. Alright, here we go. That's the hard drive I have it saved on. There's the jailbreak. It's called Absinthe. Go ahead and open that up and export it. Extract it, excuse me. We'll click on the Absinthe installer. It'll sit there and hop along for a little while while it uh, installs to the file system. Go ahead and close out of this other window. As soon as it stops jumping, it's ready to uh, run the jailbreak, and it should pop up. There we go. It already recognizes that my iPad 2 with iOS 5.01 is there, so go ahead and click jailbreak. That's there because I've gone into the VM file option of the virtual machine, and then clicked removable devices, and I've linked up the iPad and the removable device. It'll go ahead and sit here for a while. It probably took about 10 minutes. I've cut this down quite a bit for you guys. Uh, it, Like it says, it'll appear to be restoring a backup. I didn't manage to get a picture of that. My camera battery was dead. And then it'll send some payload data. Don't touch your device. Just let it sit there and look pretty. Once iTunes pops up on the main computer that you're using and not in the virtual machine, you know that it's finished. But go ahead and leave it alone. Wait until it tells you to uh, actually look on the device for the jailbreak icon like it says right now alright here we have the iPad after it got done doing the uh, restore it's just now rebooting like I said I missed the restoring screen but uh, this is what it'll get to as soon as it's done 
restoring. It'll sit here and spin for a couple seconds. I cut that out as well, for the most part. It'll go through this screen, spin a little more, and after a while we'll get to the home screen. Go ahead and slide to unlock, and right there we see the absinthe icon. And nothing. This is happening because their website is down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and kill all the tasks that I have open and restart. Another thing you want to be sure of is that you don't have a uh, passcode on the iPad before you start. Uh, I'll go ahead and put that in the description too, but uh, it can cause problems. And make sure you don't have a VPN software set up. Okay, killed all my apps and I still get a white screen. So we're going to go and do this the other way. If you'll notice, it added the VPN icon to your ta settings menu. That's why you have to have it have one not configured before. Uh, I'm going to take a screenshot there. It'll show you an error has occurred. Just hit OK and then try and turn it on again. You might have to do this two or three times, only took twice on mine, but it'll end up restarting the device. Don't get worried. It'll just restart again. And then as soon as it gets done restarting, you'll find something nice sitting on your home screen. All right, here we go. Slide over, and in place of the Absinthe app, there's the Cydia. It'll go ahead and prepare the file system. That takes about another 10 minutes. So go ahead and whenever it comes back, it'll, I don't remember if it rebooted or not, but uh, eventually you'll get to right here, just the user, the hacker, or the developer it wants to know what type of user you are. I'm just going to go ahead and click on user here so you can see the regular app store from Cydia. It'll load everything up and congratulations you just jailbroken your I iPad or iPhone. Go ahead and click subscribe guys uh, and if you liked the video or if you used it go ahead and click the like button. Doesn't hurt you.